Hello, my name is Valerie and I'm from the Chancellor's Associate Scholars Program. Today we will learn how to navigate the VAC or the Virtual Advising Center, a tool that students can use to ask questions and stay in contact with their advisors. We can get to the VAC through vac.ucsd.edu or through students.ucsd.edu. For this tutorial, we decided to use the students.ucsd.edu website. Now that we are on the website, we go to the right and click on Try and Link Tools. We then go under Advising Tools and select Virtual Advising Center. You will then see the homepage for the Virtual Advising Center. As you see, mine says John Muir College, which is my own college. It is customized for each college. On the left-hand side, you can see the different tabs for the VAC, such as Ask a Question, Contact Record, My Files, Preferences, Academic Notices, News, FAQ, Useful Links, Academic Plans, and Graduation. We will look at the Ask a Question tab since it's one of the most used features. When we select it, it will take you to this page. You will see there that it says it takes one to three business days for a question to be answered. However, it is usually pretty fast when I have used it in the past. Now, if we scroll down, we will see this box where it says topic, direct to, and question. In the topic area, you can select what your question is regarding such as academic advising or a petition. In the direct to tab, you can select who your question goes to, such as your college or your major department or any of the other departments. In the question box, you can just type up your question. At the bottom, you can select notify me via text message. If you select it, you will have to provide your phone number and provider. You can select it if you want to receive a message once your question has been answered or when there is an update on your contact record. And then we can submit our question. Now we will look at the contact record tab. Let's go up and select it. As you can see in the contact record, you can look at all the times you've contacted a department and their responses. For instance, I submitted a part-time petition and here's the response. We can see it came from my college, who it was answered by, and at what date and time it was answered at. The VAC is a great tool to stay in touch with different advisors when you have a question, but note that it is not a replacement for your CAS requirement to meet with your academic advisors. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching!